Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the best method to design a soap pack. So these are the resources I want to use for this design. You will see the best method, the best method that industries are using to design their soap packaging. Okay, so and this is one of the best videos that you will ever watch. So let's begin. All right. So the first thing you should do is for you to draw a rectangle. Take note of this. This rectangle I'm using is based on the size of my soap. Okay. So you should measure the size of your soap and know how big and how small your soap is so that it will help you to give the right dimension to this soap pack all right so here i'm going to add a color here or remove the outline i'll add a color here but let me just leave that one for now okay for now i'm going to do this i will drag this to the right okay I will add a color here. This and this, okay, must be the same size. Okay, must be like this vertically and horizontally. Must be the same size. All right. All right. So let's remove the outline for this. Now you will duplicate this again. Just simply drag this to the right and press your right button of the mouse simultaneously with the left button of the mouse you are going to duplicate that so and then with this one i'm going to use this color go to your shape tool all right select this hold your shift key select this drag it inside all right i'm going to leave the template of this design in the description below so later you can check the description and download this template and use it for your design all right so now the next thing you are going to do is for you to start bringing in your your design stuff you, know, you understand what i mean okay so i'm going to bring this this is the description of the soap so i bring this i put my color all right so check out you are going to love this design already so the next thing i'm going to do this one now this one now is for the side of this soap so i'll power clip it into this okay let's power clip it i'll open the power clip now so let's open the power clip and adjust it adjust it down okay so let me adjust this let me adjust this and then i'll bring this one inside okay so we are good to go we are good to go we are good to go so remove just simply remove that color you put earlier because you were just using the color to highlight something then i'll do the same thing to this one bring this one down here all right this depends on this design that i'm using here depends on your soap if this one depends on your soap so depends on the company that uh, wants you to design the pack for them so you use you design this based on their color their brand color okay all right so let's place this one here Let's place this one here. So this one, I'm going to bring it inside too. So I drop this one here. Power clip. All right. Then I also bring this one here. Power clip. All right. And then I'll adjust this. 
and then I will bring this one here. I will duplicate this one here. Okay. All right. I'll duplicate this one here. All right. So what I'm going to do, let me use this other one instead. Let me use this other this other one instead. So I will delete this out and I will bring this. Okay. We are good to go. All right. Wow. This is getting beautiful. So what you have to do here is that you have to make sure that you arrange your work to for it to look good as a great designer. So all I have to do here is for me to remove this outline. I will remove this outline. Or you can just put a good color outline just to help you trace it when you want to. Just to help you trace it when you want to do the folding. Okay. All right. So now the next thing you are going to do here, we are almost done. We are almost done. So the next thing you are going to do here is for you to simply fold everything here. But before then, let me show you something here. Just drag this down. Okay. See what I'm going to do. Drag this down. Duplicate. Okay. This time around, I'm going to use this color. See what I'm going to do here. Okay. Just see what I'm going to do. Ensure that when you are drawing, look at this. Look at my grid line. Ensure that when you are duplicating, when you are drawing this part, this one is the same with this one. Okay. Where this one begins to the left, this one starts there to the right. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? So now, what you are going to do is for you to convert this, this to curve. Convert that to curve by pressing Ctrl Q on the keyboard. And then go to your shape tool. Okay, go to your shape tool. And do this, do this. Put a node here. Put a node here also. Drag this one down. And drag this one down. Okay, now this time around, drag this one up. Have you, see, have you seen what I'm trying to do? Okay, let me put an outline here so that you see what I'm trying to do there. Okay, just an indication of what I'm trying to do. Okay, have you noticed that this space is where you are going to carve? You are going to carve here when you want to do your folding. All right. So now what you are going to do here is for you to simply duplicate this, simply duplicate this, drag it down, okay, all right, then the next thing you are going to do, just copy this to the right. Copy this to the right and change the perspective. Okay. Do the same thing to this side. Copy this down. Okay. In this case, this one, look at this. Look at this. Have you seen this area? This place. Okay. This one is going to face down. This one is going to face down. So I'll make it to this point. I'll make it to face down. So you make it to face down. And then this one also, this one will face up. Okay? So we'll face up. Right. This one is inside. And this one is inside too. Uh, this one is facing down this one is facing up all right but for this one for this one this one will face up and this one will face down okay have you noticed what i'm trying to do 
for the left hand side this one will face up i'm talking about this place and this one will face down whereas for this other side this one will face up this one will face down okay you notice know, what i'm saying don't worry i will drop this design template for you so that you can make use of it later so one thing that is remaining here is for us to draw this one here so i'm going to draw this one down here I'm going to draw this one down here okay so you add a color here this and this must be the same size in terms of width okay this and this this and this must be the same size in terms of width okay so you take note of that take note of that so let me return all of them all right so going to use this color i will remove the outline or i simply add an outline that is close to my design so then this one i'm going to select this go to the shape tool select this drag it up okay <laughs> and this is beautiful already this time around please take note of what i want to show you this time around this one okay this one will fall to the right okay this one will fall to the right so you turn it and you turn it okay so this is how to design your soap pack okay and that is how i came about this I just printed these and finalized this for my clients. Okay. Um, there's something that we have to put here. So I'm going to remove this other description since I was duplicating this part. I'm going to remove this. Then I'll bring contact details here. Okay. I'll bring contact details here. All right. So what do you do after? designing what do you do after designing so you may ask what do you do after designing so what you do after designing if you want to print this for your client just as i did here what you do is for you to duplicate this just simply click this or group all of them and duplicate it simply duplicate it to the page okay depending on the size of your soup so you can duplicate this adjust it adjust this you can increase the size of this page increase the size of this page so that everything can enter very well depending on the size of the soup anyways so so you can bring this down bring this down so with this you can simply you can simply print this all right you can simply print this just as i did here okay check out this one you can simply print this and when you print this you will carve it out carve it from these lines okay from the outlines carve it out from this outline from where it stops just carve it out okay carve it out carve it out carve it out and then you'll be able to fold this okay so i am going to end this video here because it is already too long so in my next tutorial i'm going to show you how to fold this properly there is a proper way to fold this so that you don't make a mistake okay so if you want to see that my tutorial when next i drop what you have to do now is for you to subscribe to my channel turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss that video when i drop okay so if you see any value in this tutorial that i've just shown you now do me a favor like this video that is the only way 
for you to encourage me so like this video subscribe to my channel turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss all my tutorials see you in my next video